so hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i'll be covering problem b that is meeting on the line from round a23 uh, like i promised in my last video so let's start with the problem so in the problem uh, we have been given the x-axis right starting from 0 up to 10 the power 8 and there are n people that are living on the x-axis right where n is up to 10 the power 5 for example, the first person lives on, let's say, coordinate A1, the second lives on coordinate A2, third lives on A3, and so on up to AN. And every one of them have some time that they take to get ready. For example, A1 takes time T1 to get ready, A2 takes time T2 to get ready, A3 takes time T3, and so on, AN takes time TN to get ready. Uh, so given this, uh, all of them want to meet at some point X0 for a meeting, right? And so all of them will travel from their coordinates to x0. For example, the time required by a1 to reach x0 is how much? The time required by a1 to reach x0 is uh, the dressing time that is t1 plus uh, the time to travel that is a1 minus x0, right? So let's call it dressing time and let's call it time to travel. So that is the time required by a1 to reach x0. Similarly, A2 will also travel to X0, A3 will also travel to X0, and so on. Every one of them will travel to X0 for the meeting. And the meeting will start uh, as soon as all of them are there. Right? So given this, you want to minimize, we want to minimize the meeting start time. So that is the problem. You have to find the coordinate x0 that will minimize the meeting start time. Or more formally, you can say that formally, we want to minimize the max of ta1, ta2, ta3, so on up to tan for some coordinate x0, right? So that is the problem. So find the coordinate x0 that will minimize or give us the minimum meeting start time so that is the problem and how can we solve this so if you see in the problem we have been given that uh, the optimal position x0 is always unique right so it, it can be shown that the value x0 will always be unique right so we know that for a given minimum meeting time, the value of x0 will always be unique. So if we can somehow find the minimum starting time, then we should be able to reverse engineer the value of x0. Okay. So that will be our goal. We will first try to find the minimum meeting start time and then somehow use that to reverse engineer the value of x0. So our goal is to find the minimum start time and then use that to find the value of x0. So now the question is, how do we find the minimum start time, right? And as I said, whenever you have to find the minimum or maximum of something, the very first thing that you should think about is binary search, right? So let's see if we can use binary search to find the start time. Uh, so let's draw the graph. Uh, let's say this is my uh, t minimum. That is the minimum uh, meeting start time. And on the y-axis, I will keep the value if they are able to meet. If they are able to meet, right? And for all the times less than t min, they will never be able to meet, right? Because t min is the minimum time that they require to meet, right? So on the left side of this, the answer is never possible. So the answer is always no. And on the right side, if they were able to meet in time t min, they will all obviously be able to meet in time more than t min, right? So the answer is always yes on the right side, right? So we can easily find this boundary team in. So we can apply binary search. So now the second important step is how do we check, uh, how do we write the check function, right? Because for every binary search, we have to uh, check for mid if it lies in the yes region or in the no region, right? So for every mid value, how do we check if it lies in the yes region or in the no region? So basically we have to find how do we write the check function, right? So that is the second important step. So let's see how to write a check function. So let's say we want to check for some value mid if it lies on the yes side or on the no side. Uh, let's draw the x-axis. Uh, let's say we only have three people, uh, a1, a2, and a3. 
so we want to check mid uh, we know that uh, they will meet in time mid right and we know that and, and we know that the time required to get ready is t1 t2 and t3 right so the time left to a1 for traveling right is how much it is mid minus t1 let's call it d right that is time left to travel time for travel right because a1 will take time t1 to get ready and all of them have to meet in time mid so a1 only has mid minus t1 time to travel similarly a2 only has time d2 that is mid minus t2 similarly a3 only has time d3 that is mid minus t3 right so a1 can only travel for mid minus t1 time so if we are some at some coordinate a1 it will how far can i go to the right to the left i can go as far as a1 plus d1 right because i only have d1 time similarly i can go d1 time to the left so i can go a1 minus d1 so that is the maximum amount that i can go up to similarly for a2 i can only go to d2 index to the right that is a2 plus d2 and similarly i can only go uh, d2 to the left that is a2 minus d2 and similarly you can write for a3 that is a3 plus d3 and a3 minus d3 right so that is the maximum gap that, that i can travel for a1 a2 and a3 so let's call it segment a1 so let's call this segment a1 now let's call it as a1 let's call this segment a2 and let's call this segment a3 right so now we know how far a1 a2 and a3 can travel right so if all of these three segments have an intersection then that means that they can meet right so for all of them to meet for all of them to meet sa1 sa2 sa3 must have some intersection but as you can see here S A one, S A two, S S A three have no common portion. That is, there is no intersection. So A one, A two, A three will never be able to meet in the following example, right? So the answer for this is no, right? So the answer for this mid is no. So that is how we will check. So now let's write the solution. So we will start with low equal to zero, high equal to two into ten to the power eight, and we will do a binary search. and another important thing is that when you are binary searching on doubles it is always useful to write iterations instead of low less than high right so the so the tip here is whenever you are binary searching for doubles always use iterations over low less than equal to high right because it is not recommended to use low less than equal to high in case of doubles right because when you are using doubles the number can go into decimals and it's possible that this condition will never be met and it will always run into an infinite loop so it is always useful to use iterations when you are binary searching over doubles so i will say while iterations are less than 30 while iterations are less than 30 uh my mid is how much my mid is low plus high by 2 and then i will check my answer for mid then i will check my my answer for mid right how will i check my answer i will compute segment for every person and i will check if all of them have a intersection or not right so basically you have to check if segment of a1 segment of a2 segment of a3 so on up to segment of an have an intersection or not if they do have an intersection that is if yes then that means that they are able to meet it means that we are in the yes region we are in the yes region then it means that we need to lower our higher bound so we will do high equal to mid and if the answer is no then that means that we have to increase our lower bound right so we will do low equal to mid otherwise if the answer is no so now we have now we are able to find the minimum time right so now we are able to find the minimum start time we are able to find the minimum start time so how can we use this to find x not right 
so if you are able to find the minimum start time you can just find the intersection right you are finding the inter intersection here right so this intersection is the point where they will meet point where they will meet so as you are as you are already finding the intersection you can just say that the intersection is equal to x not right as we have already found the minimum time then that means that the point that was the intersection is where you will have to meet right so the intersection point is x not itself right so while doing binary search when you are finding intersection that is that is your answer x not itself right so you don't have to find x not separately and that is the solution right so you will do a binary search low equal to 0 high equal to 2 into 10 to the power 8 and you will do around 30 iterations because that is enough to find the answer up to uh, around 10 to the power 8 uh, like right so your mid is equal to low plus high by 2 you will check mid right how will you check mid you will check if all the segments have an intersection or not if all of them have an intersection then that means that all of your people will meet at that point right so that is your possible x naught and if the answer is yes you will update your high equal to mid and your intersection point equal to x naught or your answer right so this is your answer so if you if your answer is yes you will update your intersection point as equal to x naught right otherwise uh, the answer is no and you will update your low equal to mid and that is the entire solution i know it is a bit hectic but i hope you were able to understand and if you guys have a doubt uh, feel free to ask in the comments or join my discord server i will answer your doubts there and let's see the code also so here is the code so i'm taking in uh, the coordinates of people and their time so i will do low equal to zero high equal to 2 into 10 to the power 8 and answer is equal to zero that is my coordinate so i will do around 30 iterations so my mid is equal to low plus high by 2 ok is equal to 1 this is my first segment right or you can say i am taking the first x axis in the starting and then i will find the intersections right so if i is equal to zero i is less than uh, i len n so i will iterate over all the n, n persons so if my ti is more than mid, that is if my, if, my, if my dressing time is more than the meeting time, then I will never be able to meet. So the ok is equal to 0 and I can just break out here. Otherwise, this is my di. So my diff is equal to mid minus ti. And my range is how much? My range is, uh, my range is xi minus diff and xi plus diff, right? So that is how far I will, I will be able to travel. So then I can just find the intersection of range and full, right? So here's my intersection function. So it will tell me if they are intersecting or not if they are not intersecting it will give me minus one minus one otherwise it will give me the intersection right so if they are inter intersecting so if they are not intersecting the uh, ok is equal to zero and i will just break out right and then i will check if there was some intersection then my answer is how much it is the intersection right so if my intersection is this much uh, let's call it uh, let's say l and r then my answer is l plus r by two right but in the end your l and r will be very small so your l and your l r range will be very small and it will be very like accurate right so doing l plus r by 2 or just doing l or r it will suffice so you can like update your answer that is your value of x naught so you can either use full full dot first that will also work right because in the end your l and r will be very close right so it will not matter if you use full dot first by 2 or full dot first or full dot second, the second right because they will be very close by and you can update your high equal to mid otherwise you can update your low is equal to mid and in the end you can just print out your answer and that is the entire solution and that is it for this video and i'll see you guys in the next one and like i said if you guys have some doubts feel free to ask in the comments or leave in the discord server and i'll answer your doubts there yeah so that's it and bye bye also, if you guys don't know, Continuing Newton School is offering a full stack development course. The course is uh, over six months long and it is totally based on pay after placement model and you don't have to pay anything. There is zero hidden fees, there is zero upfront fees and they are granting you a minimum package of rupees 5 lakhs and the average package is rupees 7 lakhs and the highest package is over rupees 26 lakhs. So it is a very great opportunity. Also, all their mentors are from top MNCs like Google, Flipkart, Zomato, etc. Also, they will get you placed into the top MNCs as well, like Google, Flipkart, Zomato. Uh, so, uh, you can learn from the mentors that are working at those companies and you can land a job at those companies yourself. Also, you don't need to worry if you guys think that I coding, I don't have fresh, the course is over 6 months long and they will teach you from scratch. 
so you can still sign up for this and if you guys are looking for a career in the tech field this is a very uh, this is a very great head start that you should sign up for and if you uh, want to land a job i highly uh, i highly vouch for this and uh, if you guys want to sign up there will be a link down below and you can go and sign up from there so yeah be sure to sign up for this and i will see you in the next video bye bye